Welcome back to another EXP Reviews. This is the Aronin. Today we are checking out Lost Judgment, the sequel of the Yakuza spin-off. With this entry, the only Lost Judgment here will be anything negative. So here is why the next Ryoga Kotoku entry is a must play. <laughs> ah, so then, thank you. Another beat em up is here, and for the name of justice and truth, Lost Judgment puts you in the shoes of a private investigator to beat up some high school kids for being too edgy. As you should know, I have not found anything disappointing with the Yakuza entries thus far, except that the other spin off games has not made it to the West just yet. Seeing the franchise's well deserving success here, I have high optimism of this being made a reality. So, so this will be appropriate to discuss one of the successful side games that just got its own sequel. Lost Judgment is exactly what I'm talking about. I know what some of you may say, the PlayStation 4 version, but it's 2021. Well, that's because it is 2021. Anything new is scarce or just a holy grail at this point. But you know, it is easy to say that you should not expect any performance issues by any means. While yes, it is 30 frame rates per second, there are no frame rate drops and the graphics are still quite easy to look at. In fact, I would even go as far as to say it has some improvement in textures and lighting over Like a Dragon. I overall try to avoid talks in regards to graphics on my reviews because I definitely am a true believer that graphics are not essential to the experience and I tend to find artistic direction to be a valid excuse for some cases. But I won't be afraid to call out any lack of effort put in on certain titles. With those talks out of the way, we can finally be on the case for these great experiences for Lost Judgment. So I have to go ahead and keep expressing this, but even though Lost Judgment isn't a mainline title, it sure does treat it as respectfully as such, and probably bold of me to say this, but I think it's done almost everything even better than the last brawler entry, which would be the first Judgment game. And I'm almost tearing knowing that Toshihiro Nagoshi just left Sega after making this and he is the big brains of most of the franchise. The game takes you back to Kamurocho with the protagonist Takeyuki Yagami and Masahoro Kaito in the middle of a PI case and was able to get a phone call with some former colleagues from the first Judgment title about a much bigger investigation. With finishing up his current one, they called back Fumiya Sugura and Makoto Tsukomo for the synopsis of the investigation. They are then taken to Ijincho over in Yokohama where Like a Jagan took place for a good bit of its story. The case involved excessive bullying done in a high school that is requesting some outsourcing assistance. So upon the investigation, the story takes a twist as Yagami is now taking a case that involves a murder that gives a connection to the high school itself. Without spoiling the rest of the story, one thing leads to another throughout, which is pretty expected for a crime genre. To be frank, the tone of the game is rather a gritty take, but that's not uncommon coming from the same universe as the Yakuza series. There's always drama going around with the lives of the main characters. In contrast to what we've been seeing, this game tackles on sensitive topics in the real world, namely in Japan, but can be applied anywhere else. I would absolutely say that they did not tone down the theme of the subject for this, which is what I have to respect about Lost Judgment, because making light out of serious subjects or shortcutting its negative effects really just minimizes what the world is suffering with about this. With keeping the dark theme in check, you get all five stages of the story structure and what they entail. Many of the actions being taken also shows off different sides of the characters. While being in school may just be a key setting for this, the importance is there in overall character development and expressions for Yagami, and there is no lie when the expectation is set by the developers. This is even shown during the side quests done in Serio High School through the school stories, as Yakami becomes involved with the mystery research club at the school with the student head. The interactions with the students and staff gives off many emotions that isn't shown to a big extent in the first game, 
but does really well in Lost Judgment. Seeing that not only is Yagami a lawyer and a detective, this is somewhat expected. It cannot be a Judgment title without detective work returning, so it is expected they have returned and I'd say in an even bigger scope than the first title. As a detective, it is still essential for Yagami to obviously present the evidence during interrogations. Big props to the simplistic yet effective presentation on where all details are in front of you when scrolling through. The main story does tend to heavily rely on observations for the moment Yagami is in need of doing so. While tailing has been uh, narrowed down to just side quests except for the first mission, uh, chases are still a thing going on. It is an odd change that I remember doing quite a handful of these changes. Not really a complaint so to speak, but it may feel dumbed down in comparison and brings in less variety for the story only players. But the Yakuza series is one of the few that easily sidetracks me from the story to do the side missions. Which for me, it's absolutely a plus, as you can walk your own doge, who can de do detective work with you. But uh, sadly, you cannot buy any dogecoin or shiba with it. But don't worry though, if you feel that the game is cutscene heavy, rest assured, plenty, and I mean very commonly so, do you roam the streets and still beat up the scummiest bastards in traditional beat em up gameplay in the series. In Lost Judgment, the mechanics along with animations and fluidity are amongst the best shown up to date for the franchise and not just for the fact that it is all fast paced, in contrast to Lack of Dragons, a turn based RPG style, but also some new mechanics added on such as the snake style which boosts up the defense systems well that I will say were never the strongest features in the series battle system. This game made it made a big jump. It is not only fun, but does come with the best tune along with the other fighting styles that change the battle themes in the standard fight, adding to the difficulty of the game carry cap of medicine and pharmaceuticals start off with just three max per item but you can thankfully still get convenience store goods with both health as needed for sad news to newcomers of the yakuza franchise i have to say there is no karaoke however this is a separate game storyline wise to yakuza overall this is not a bad thing to go along with however this does not mean that the rhythm in the games are no longer available especially when you are bored or needing a change of pace as you have some school stories that brings in mini games that involve rhythm, so it's not totally distant, which is expected as they share the same universe without as many tankiness as shown in Yakuza Like a Dragon. And tankiness is not necessarily a bad thing, but there's nothing wrong with changing the tone from game to game. <laughs> To the judgment of lost judgment. <laughs> lost judgment is not a bad ruling by any means, as it is found innocent in terms of quality of many of the game's features and highly recommended for veteran players of the franchise. While crime and suspenseful stories in games are still somewhat common, the gameplay variety in Lost Judgment makes it user friendly enough for any types of players and can introduce more newcomers. However, I still highly recommend playing the first Judgment tile plus the Yakuza games in chronological order for lore purposes and pleasure. With a case coming to an end, a masterpiece like Lost Judgment will be good talks to others for hopefully many great cases in the future. <laughs> I do appreciate you joining in this review. If you would like to see more, go ahead and check out other videos in the channel, and please subscribe and click on the notification bell for the Aronin for any future updates. Until next time, my Aronin Knights, please stay tuned.